Hey guys, and welcome to our next adventure. I am Titan, of course, and this is Command and Conquer 1995, or Command and Conquer Gold, or Command and Conquer Tiberian Dawn, if you will. This is the game that actually um, first brought me over to PC gaming. I wanted a PC as a kid, like you would never believe, because of this game. I have put hundreds of hours into this game over the years and uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time and I would say it's one of my favorite series of all time however EA brought it out from Westwood Studio or actually brought Westwood Studio and completely fucked it up because well that's what EA does um, but I love this game and I have wanted to let's play this for years and years and years but I could never get it to work. So a couple of weeks ago I just thought screw it I'm going to download DOSBox and get it running that way and it's, it was okay but I had glitches and bugs and um, it, it ran quite slowly so I thought that was a bit of a no go. And in the end, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to play the original PlayStation version because that's the version that I had way back when, uh, until I got a PC. And the PlayStation version was pretty damn good, but my god, going back to it now, it's... Yeah, um, no, no, I do not like playing it with a control pad. Uh, I did enable the mouse functionality on the emulator, but the mouse functionality doesn't seem to work on the emulator. So, I mean, frustratingly enough, it works for other games, but not this one. Uh, I'm just playing this with a control pad. It's just wrong. It, you know, it's, it's just, it should be like, like, strategy games have to be played with the mouse. There are no exceptions. Strategy games are better on a PC. There are no exceptions. So, I spent a lot of time fiddling and looking around, and I found this unofficial patch. And lo and behold, this gets it to work, kind of. Um, it gets it to work where it's quite playable. Uh, there are some graphical issues, as you can see, but they're not that bad. Um, so I am very very excited to uh, start playing this. So let's hit up new game We are we have uh, two factions to choose from we have nod which are the evil terrorist organization And we have the global defense initiative, which are the good guys um, I've always preferred GDI over nod um, The best way to split both of the factions up GDI units are basically more expensive slower and heavily armed and armored nod units are the exact opposite they're they're faster cheaper but weaker um and besides i just like gdi i think they're really cool i like the logo and i like the pleasing gold color even though black and red is my low-key favorite combination in the world so we're going to go for gdi first Global defense oh, and how i love how i love eva's voice are you picking this up we certainly are good I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. We always are. We are always Our up against it. Our fortified this beachhead at X16Y42. Intelligence is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. But we found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. I you see. You some artillery support from his gunboats, but this is mostly grunt work. Your mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications. Eliminate all Nod troops. And establish a beachhead by building your base. I think we could do that. Cheers, Commander. Oh man, I remember the first time I ever saw this cinematic. I remember I ran home to my mum, like so excited. I was like, because I had a Mega Drive at the time. Soundtrack. That soundtrack, though. Um, the first time I ever saw that cutscene, I ran home and I was like, oh my god, you should see PC graphics. They look real. 
there's a cinematic with the sun coming up over the over the hills and it dazzles you and then she was like oh yeah well you know computer games are getting quite impressive these days i'm like mom you don't understand we need to get a pc blah 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 anyway let's continue right this is our mobile construction yard we need this to produce all of our buildings if it dies you die as you can see, we do get graphical glitches around the screen because we are forcing the game to run at a higher resolution. This game was obviously never designed for a PC like this. Uh, but a quick push of the escape key gets rid of it. Um, resolution issues are a bit of an issue, as you can see, because um, the resolution is actually bigger than the entire map. That changes after about level 3, so it's all good. Let's kill this bastard trying to have his way with our construction yard. I do not think so, my friend. Get the fuck out of here. Now we have a Humvee. These Humvees are our basic scout unit. They're all right. Um, what can I say? They're basic scout units. We really don't... Ooh, danger close. Fucking hell, that gunboat nearly slaughtered our own men. Friendly fire is a thing. Yeah, we don't really need to build a base, but... Uh, we might as well, so I can do some explaining. Looks like they're just going to charge me anyway. Fuck you, naughty scum. Um, we need power plants to power our bases. This is our power bar. Our mobile construction yard will produce a tiny amount of power, and it is damaged, so we can repair it. Uh, we need a barracks to produce infantry. The more barracks as you have, the faster you can produce an infantry, up to three. So you can have three barracks for maximum effect. Now we have a blue bar down here that is showing us how much power we're using, and that's how much we're producing. If power plants get damaged, they will produce less power. If you run out of power, buildings get damaged over time, and um, they function slower. We can now train units. I shall show you if we build another barracks. Construction complete. The train speed is faster. And we can designate primary um, buildings. Which one of these do we want our men to come out of? Anyway, enough bullshit. Let's go hunt down the rest of these naughty scum. Anybody else? Come on, come on. There we go. Lead sandwiches for everybody. After each mission, we are treated to a beautiful cutscene. Wow, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you understand. I personally think they're rather lovely. This is a mobile construction yard setting up. Not that I needed to tell you lovely people that. And what have I lost? Oh, I left my vape outside. Never mind. Did I? Yes, that's my wallet. I like the engineers. No fucks given. And there we go, mission one completed. I have been testing this game extensively. Ah, we lost no men. Excellent. And they lost three. Yes. So, that is the first mission completed. Uh, a tutorial of sorts, I guess you could say. What am I doing? I keep trying to put in Sega Fan 1986. I'm like, no, bad, bad. That man is dead. There we go. Not that bitter. So we're in Europe for GDI's campaign. Mm-hmm. We have a respectable part of the map, but Nord has caught up. Let's continue our advance. Uh, Estonia. We are... We get a bit of blurb down the bottom there about um, the countries. Uh, interesting little fact that I never realised as a kid. Because I never read these, obviously, because I was a kid. Um, these blurbs are totally different depending on what faction you play as. We have different statistics. So let's continue. Good job with the beachhead, Commander. Time to bring you up to speed on Nod so you know what you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Probably a good idea. This is Kane. Kane. The self-appointed leader of the Brotherhood of Nod. Stand by. I'll link us up. Condition critical. 
Know why not had this speech bottled up? They're protecting a big Tiberium refinery that intelligence oh. somehow missed. We need backup now. Not troops are pouring out of their base, strangling our foothold. Well, that won't do. That refinery, eliminate all nine forces before we lose our position. I don't know how long we can hold out. Hmm. You heard the man. What are you waiting for? I'm on it, boss. I'm on it. Nice. Right, wipe out these naughty bastards. Well, this is all we've got left of our base from before. That's not exactly good, is it? And we have some engineers. Engineers are pretty useful. Building reinforcements have Aha! Another MCV. Good thing uh, budget isn't an issue. Let's get that deployed. Track out a power plant, and then let's uh, go roll these fools. Let's get another barracks. Because I don't like standing around waiting for build queues. You can't actually queue units up in this game either. You can in the um, later games, but not this one. Let's get another barracks. We're going to leave our Humvees down here to protect our base. Shouldn't need to worry too much about it, because it's only the second level, but... Eh. There we go, we've got three barracks, so we have the maximum uh, build bonus. There we go, we're gonna just run our resources right out. Seriously, my friend? What do you think you're doing? Um, attack buggy? I think not. Uh oh. Uh, guys, do you want to defend yourselves? Thank you. Yeah, your men are as stupid as they come. They, they never really defend themselves or anything, really. It's quite a pain in the ass sometimes. That thing you just saw go up there is a harvester. That harvester is Tiberium. Tiberium is the uh, resource of the game, which we will learn more about that a little bit later on. We earn credits up here. These are, this is our money. And we uh, earn credits by harvesting Tiberium. Right, let's go roll the space. Should have more than enough minigunners now. Minigunners are our basic unit. They're basically standard rifle goons. Jarheads. There we go. Let's go explore what we've we got here. Yeah, doesn't appear to be too much here. As you'd expect. No hand of nod. That's interesting. Hand of Nod is what Nod has instead of a barracks. Exactly the same function. Let's get our engineers up here. We can use our engineers to capture the enemy buildings. Uh, unlike in the newer games, um, all you need to do in this one is to get an engineer into the base. Or into the building. And that building becomes yours. In the newer games, you have to like damage them and whatnot. Um, oh. Please do not kill my engineers. Really? You're just going to stand there whilst the buggy shoots you? That is not very smart. Alright, let's get you over here. We're going to take over their refinery. But we're not going to take over their refinery until the harvester comes back. Because if we wait until the harvester comes back, we'll capture the harvester as well. Let's go take that. In a minute. Did we lose an engineer? Engineers are expensive. Engineers cost 500 each, which is a lot of money. Each uh, harvester only holds 700. Right, now the harvester's in there. We're going to take it over. So we get the harvester as well. Quite a sly tactic. They should have a hand of nod up here. I don't know why they don't. I've never ever seen that before. I'm assuming. Oh, we can't build engineers. That sucks. And say we take over the entire base, but I guess we can't. All right, let's destroy the rest of the base. Lovely. Easy as that. Nice. It's a wrap. GDI is unsolvable. That is an APC. 
Uh, we get to make use of those a little bit later on, and you can have a lot of fun with those. And we will be having a lot of fun with those. Mission two, supreme victory. Not bad. Eight casualties. We uh, certainly embarrassed them there a little bit, didn't we? I'm happy with that, and this music is so good. So good. Yeah, a little bit like this game. So good. I was never as into Red Alert. The Red Alert series. I always preferred the Tiberian series. Not that I don't like Red Alert. I do. But this is so much better. And I always hated that part of the map there. I always thought that was really creepy, the way that came in. Because it reminds me of a pair of lungs. I don't know why. I was a strange child. What can I say? Um, and I used to hate anything to do with the body. Like, um, you know, doctor programs. Like casualty and stuff like that. Ugh. Couldn't watch it. It used to give me nightmares. I was a coward as a kid. Yeah. Grew a beard and kind of manned up, I suppose. Anyway, on to the next... Mm-hmm. Let's go. I know I promised more deep background on Kane and Nod, you but there'll be time for that later. You sure? Carter says you hit the ground fighting. Nice job. Yeah, where was he now in all of this? Again. Somewhere in this section is a Nod base. It's protected against airstrikes by Nod SAM sites. Hmm. Knock That's them out good. so Colonel Morelli can provide air support. Colonel Morelli? That should make it easier for you to take out the base. So much for the I'll be FAT. out of the loop for a couple of days doing civvy time at the UN. Don't let me down. That sounds ominous. Civvy time at the UN, eh? Yes, Sam sites. These things are a pain. However, pretty much whenever there's um, Sam sites, if we destroy them all, we get access to one of our GDI powers, which is airstrikes. Airstrikes are really good. Right, let's get going. We also, for the first time, have access to grenadiers. Grenadiers are badasses. They throw grenades. The only problem with them is they're quite volatile. They do have a nasty habit, when they're injured, of going boom. Which is a problem. Because when they go boom, they take a lot of your men with them. And that's annoying. I don't want to go about that. It matters not. I'm not OCD. Well, I think everyone's a little OCD. I don't think I am very OCD. Uh, let's get our barracks there. Oh, get another power plant. We'll pop him in there. We also have access to a communications tower. Communications tower will give us a radar map, which, eh, it's not that useful, to be honest. It does get more useful as the series progresses. Alright, let's get the communications center up and running. There we go. Squeeze you in there. Let's get some more barracks produced, so we can have our full potential when it comes to producing soldiers. Because I don't want to wait around like a sucker. Uh, you don't, that's Tiberium. You don't want your uh, infantry walking into Tiberium. Because it does kill them. We start producing another refinery as well. Look at that crashed ship there. Crashed plane. They're bazooka men. Bazooka men are not a threat to infantry, but they are a threat to tanks uh, and other vehicles in a big way. Ooh, hello. Uh, I don't think so, Bozo. So you don't want your Humvees going after these. Uh oh. Oh dear. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose the Humvee. It doesn't matter. We need to get our economy going. Our economy is weak source right now. Uh, really, buddy? Really? Can you leave my harvester alone, please? There we go. Let's destroy this SAM site. SAM sites. 
a bad news. If your men are in a group and one of them starts uh, laying down like that, it means he's taking damage. Nice. Kill him! There we go. Can't fund an army with a weak economy. There we go. Let's pump out some more grenadiers. More than enough Tiberium on this mission to fund us. Stop repairing it, you dicks! You have no chance. There's another one here. But we can lob grenades up and over this ridge. A little bit something like that. No, you fools! Go kill him. There we go. I'll pelt that with grenades. Excellent. Let's get another refinery going. I do like to have three refineries going at all times. That does guarantee a nice supply of credits. Excellent. Nice. Now there is a little civilian village down here. But there's nothing we can really do with that because we're GDI. We're the good guys. If we were not, we could destroy that. And sometimes if you destroy them, you can then loot them. Uh, you get a little box up here in the village that has money. Uh, now as GDI, uh, killing civilians is kind of frowned upon. I don't know why, but I don't make the rules. Right, now we have our economy infrastructure in place. We can concentrate on building an attack force, which will be mainly grenadiers. Because grenadiers, yo. Alright, where are you going? You should be going over here. Yep, this idiot is confused. Go and grab that. Your harvesters do get confused quite often. Where are you going, buddy? There's nothing there to harvest. Honestly. Now, your uh, refineries can only hold a certain amount of Tiberium. Uh, but you can build silos. So, spend, spend, spend. Kind of encourages you to keep producing units. Because if your refinery is full, and your harvesters come back to drop a load in, you lose all of that money. Now, harve uh, Tiberium does uh, deplete. It is not unlimited. On some levels, it's, uh, it does kind of regrow slightly faster because there are Tiberium trees. Shh, we don't know about those yet. Um, but the stuff also spreads on its own, but it spreads incredibly slowly. Building unit ready. Building now that's one of the reasons uh, Warcraft ready. and uh, Starcraft didn't take my attention like this game did, because I didn't like the way resources worked in that game. Especially Warcraft 2. Um, although I played Warcraft 2, I believe, before I played this game. And I loved it. But I never liked the limited uh, units. I think you could only uh, select nine units at once in that game. And I hated that. But it was a good game. You know, Warcraft 3 was uh, incredibly good. And then, of course, we will never probably get another Warcraft game because World of Warcraft kind of came and ruined that. Alright, we're getting hammered here. Which is very unfortunate. Because Warcraft 3 was really good. In my opinion, it was better than 2 in every way. But alas. Oh, silos needed. Which basically means build grenadiers. Airstrike's now ready. So Colonel Morelli, go do her thing. Boom. You can see just how powerful she is. Uh, as the game goes on, you actually get more uh, A-10s. As you can see, we've only got one at the moment. But as the game goes on, we get up to three of them. You want to be really careful and really sure of yourself before you attack the enemy harvester. Attacking the enemy harvester is like kicking a uh, hornet's nest. It's 
soon as you do that, they will throw everything they have at you. So before you attack the harvester, be ready. Now it's time to finish this. Ooh! One must be careful when attacking the harvester. Okay, that didn't quite go to plan. Luckily, we have another force ready to go. Building unit ready. Building unit ready. Unit ready. Should have had a few more men there, really, but never mind. I really wish we could queue units up. I think that came in in Tiberian Sun. But you could only queue up five, I think. Five units. Right, let's go roll these guys over. We've had enough of their bullshit. The time for Nod is over. Yes, well, it's over now because they have no way of getting more money. Excellent. Yeah, you can see the problem with Grenadiers. They just do more damage to themselves than anything else. That is a Temple of Nod, which is their equivalent of a uh, barracks. Does the same thing. And our grenadiers are doing the best to blow themselves up. Oh, airstrike ready. Excellent. Select target. Send them in. Go get them. Good old napalm strike. Lovely. They still have money. You can still see it in their silos. Always a good. Uh, yeah, I know we need silos, but we've won, so it matters not. Take it home, guys. Destroy the turret. Excellent. I do love the Grenadiers. <laughs> done and done, my friends. Oh, 27 minutes, not bad. Here's Colonel Morelli. With her squadron of eight ends. She will be fairly instrumental. A-10s, man. They're so badass. Napalm strike away! Lovely. Not bad. Ooh, casualties were quite high there. Although they lost almost three times as many, so I'm happy with that. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I have been Titan and when we come back we are going to continue. Um, yeah, the rest of the game uh, I have pretty much already recorded. It was just this video needed to be replaced. Um, because this is an old game and uh, I guess somehow it got corrupted. Either way, the first take of this video didn't work, so we should be up to speed now. Enjoy the rest of the playthrough, guys. Thank you for watching. Till next time.